Welcome to the Coal Collective for our classic ride from Andermatt, featuring the Furka, Newfoundland and Gotthard passes. So I ride out last night, got 105k, three big climbs, all over 2,000 meters, about 3,000 meters of elevation. First section, 8k warm up, just got to spin your legs out as you leave town. Hit the bottom of the first climb, the Furka, got about 12.5k's, 7.3% average, so I think it's going to be a bit of a beast. kilometer up to eight and a half percent you can see the road just stair stepping its way up you can almost see that's got to be a good few k up there already Approaching 2,000 meters elevation, we're only just over 5 k's in as well. We started off at 1,450, so it means when you start climbing, you're right up here in the clouds straight away. It means you've got to pay even more attention to the weather. We've got a good day at the moment, but as it's out in the open, it's actually turned quite windy. I wondered why when I woke up this morning, I was feeling a bit James Bond. Just found out that this played the backdrop to a famous car scene in the movie Goldfinger back in 1964. On a more serious note, we're at 9%. percent got the last couple of Ks and we can see the top just in the distance.
look at the view from the top of the Furka. Climbed up, gained about a thousand meters elevation. We're going to lose all of that as well as we descend all the way down to Ulriken. If we take a right-hander, you can pick up the Grimsel Pass and that leads on to the Susten. We're going to take a left today and see what the Newfoundland has to offer. Nice long descent. It's always good to see the kilometers tick by a bit quicker when you've been snailing up the side of a mountain for a couple of hours. Hooked a little left there, straight onto the Newfoundland. It's one of the youngest passes in Switzerland. It's actually the longest, probably the hardest climb we're gonna to do today. Starting to feel the burn as I get the legs working hard again. About 7Ks to the top, 10% gradient, quite a strong headwind. So I'm thankful of my 3428 today, definitely using it. In fact, it's about at this point in the ride, mid distance, where you look around, you're on your own, surroundings are overpowering, it turns into more of a mental game than a physical one. Two thousand three hundred and twenty-five meters. Swiss precision. Gradient's just stuck at ten percent. Means you gain elevation quite quickly, but the wind's turning cold, down to fourteen degrees. In the valley, it was about thirty. We lost a lot of temperature. We just look out of those snow-capped peaks, giving you enough inspiration to keep going. Deja vu. Last time I was at the top of the Newfoundland was back in 2014. This was the last big peak in my uh, Road to Mont Blanc challenge. For some reason I had the, the harebrained idea to ride 1000k non-stop. That day, uh, yeah, saw the mountains as they are today. I was absolutely astounded. I actually climbed up from uh, Arolo, which is where we're heading now. We've got about a 26 kilometer descent. So uh, let's go check it out.
Now I've got uh, 25 k's to go when we hit a rollo there. Nice time just to take a bit of a system check, refill bottles. If you want to grab a coffee or grab a bite to eat, that's the place to do it. We've now picked up signs for the San Gotardo, 12 and a half kilometer climb, climb up to 2,091 meters on the old Tremola Road. You can feel the history in the town. We've actually crossed over into Ticino now. So we're in the Italian speaking part of Switzerland. Five k's in. Fortunately, the gradient's just a touch easier than on the Newfoundland. You see, climbing up from the valley, we've hit these little sections of cobbles. I think that's a bit of a prelude to what's to come. What it lacks in gradient makes up in these granite stones. about 3k to the summit, stair-stepping our way up on these cobbles. The stones aren't actually too bad. It's amazing though because it always makes me wonder how roads were built like this, you know the original sort of passes, who went first, who sort of made it to the top of the Gotthard and saw over the other side. Really is quite spectacular and it's beautiful just to spend a few moments, enjoy it for yourself and think of all the history and all the people who have gone over this pass. This is what I've come for, 2,000 meters, we're all alone on the cobbles, it's not Flanders or Roubaix, it's the old Tremola Road, I'm absolutely loving it. Top of the San Gotard, 2,091 meters. Bit windy up here, down to 8.4 degrees. We're chasing daylight again. Seems to be the norm for us at the Coal Collective. Just over 3,000 meters elevation on the clock now. For me, this loop really flows in a nice direction. Climbs are a bit shorter. You see the beauty for what they are, especially finishing up on those cobbles. Absolutely amazing. If you do do it, let us know what you think. And until the next time, ride safe. <laughs>